February 15, 2013. And I bought some wild Alaskan sockeye salmon in the burbs of Cleveland, Ohio, USA. I'm going to test this for radiation and see what it contains. February 15, 2013, and this is my first test on my wild sockeye salmon. It's a 100 minute test, which equals 6,000 seconds, and the count I got is 3,016. Five count max data point, average data point is 0 0.50. So, you know what this means. If you've been watching these videos, that the salmon is testing at background. Yay! That means that this salmon does not contain any radiation. So let's do the background test to prove that. February 16, 2013. This is the second test on the sockeye. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds. Total count is 3,089. 7 count high. Average data point is 0.51. February 16, 2013. This is test 3 on the sockeye salmon. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, and I got a count of 3,080, 5 count max data point, average data point is 0.51. February 16th, 2013. And this is the background reading for the sockeye salmon. And it's 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, and the total count was 2,930. Max data point 6. The average data point is 0.49. So that's a significant number, even though that's the usual background. The average background for the burbs of Cleveland, Ohio is about 0.50. But the reason why that's significant is I'll tell you in the conclusion. My conclusion on the sockeye salmon is kind of the case of good news, bad news. The good news, actually it's great news. I would say by the numbers, the average data points that this sockeye salmon, this particular piece right here, does not contain any radiation. The background reading is basically the same as the sockeye salmon. So I would feel safe in eating this piece of salmon. Bad news. It basically confirms that all the other fish that I've tested, if it tested positive for above background radiation, that means it was seriously picking up some radiation. That's the bad news. The only way you'll be able to find out if it does contain it is if you have a Geiger counter. I don't know, from what I heard, that uh, U.S. seafood is not being tested at this time. I may be wrong. But this is just one reason where eating seafood nowadays is a, is a, is a crapshoot. It's a gamble. With uh, the amount of radiation in the Pacific Ocean, I think it's affecting a lot more seafood than uh, people may uh, tend to believe. 
so until I get more readings thank you for watching the videos background sockeye salmon background sockeye salmon background sockeye salmon background sockeye salmon